Hey everyone, it's Raquel, and I'm just here with a really quick video to show you some cards that I've made. Uh, these are for um, birthdays and um, for customer thank yous, um, but I just wanted to show you really quick one that I'm, I'm in the process of putting together, and I think I'm going to start doing this more often. Um, I go ahead and I make my cards, and I, I never think to make a video of the process of me making the card. So, um, I started this one, and I was like, you know what, let me, let me make a tutorial on the card that I'm making. So, we're going to make this card right here. Um, I'll probably do more of these in the future. Um, if you, you know, if you like, I'll do some more of these in the future. Um, but this is a real simple card, and I thought I'd start with this one. So, um, we'll start with a... Five, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half inch card, which is our standard A2 size card. And um, the layer that I have on it is three and three quarter by five. And that's the layer that I use sometimes, especially if I'm using a simple card or making a simple card. Uh, more, my more detailed cards will have, you know, more layers onto it. And the other layer would probably be a uh, five and a quarter by four. Okay, so but we're we're using three and three quarters by by five this time, and then what I'm going to do is I like to bring in when I get ready to stamp, I like to bring in this piercing mat. Um, I use it for stamping, but it's Stampin' Up's piercing mat, and um, I do it for some of my stamping. So what I'm going to do is going to stamp this sentiment right here. Oh, I guess I should tell you. <laughs> The stamp set that I'm using is Designer Tin of Cards, and I'm going to use this sentiment right here, Celebrate Your Day. So I'm going to use that, and the paper, the paper is from the, let's see if you can see that, is from the Fruit Stand Designer Series paper out of the main catalog, okay? So that's some of our Designer Series paper that is not in the holiday catalog. I'm be sticking around for a while, and I'm going to use Pear Pizzazz. And I love pear pizzazz when I'm dealing with uh, things like this, vines and stems and things like that. Because sometimes the old olive is a little dark. Not that it wouldn't work, but sometimes the old olive is just a little dark for me. So I like to use pear pizzazz. So we're going to use pear pizzazz. And here's the sentiment. I'm going to go ahead and ink that up a little. And so what this piercing mat does, it helps when you're using the photopolymer stamps um, to for your image to come out nice. So now that I've said that, I hope it comes out right. So I'm going to move this up a little bit so you can see. And straight. And voila, there you go. So I'm going to do that. Let me close up my ink. I don't like to keep my ink out. Not that it would get dry really quick because they're... Fabulous inks. Um, so I'm going to punch this out with the two inch circle punch and I'll just cut right there. Okay. And put this off to this side. And I also have a process when I'm doing, <clears throat> excuse me, when I'm doing my layering. So I like to go ahead and put everything together. Kind of like if you're building, um, you know, building something. You start from the ground up and then you work your way up. That's what I like to do. <clears throat> so now I need to have some glue dots. So I want to put this bow on. So bows are, bows are my thing. I really love to have bows on things because it's like super girly. Love doing them. So here's my bow. Just put my bow on top and then I have these are um, in the hollow no they're in the, the regular catalog the main idea book and catalog and I'm gonna use one of these stars these are uh, I think they're called enamel enamel something or another I can't remember the name right now but I'll have the name and so this is that's one part of it that's completely done so what I want to do is I want to take that and my doily, which I think I lost. Oh, here it is. It's my doily. 
And these are super paper thin, so you have to be very careful with them when you use them because they are super, super thin. And what I want to do is I want to pop these up. And when I pop things up, I want to use dimensionals because that's the easiest way to add some sort of accent to it or dimension, really. And just pull off the backing. Not the whole thing, but the backing. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. Now, when I go to put this on, I'm just going to gently put it on the back. I would have put dimensions on. Oops, you know what? I think I put that upside down. Can you see that? See, so my peach is upside down this way. So let me see if I can take that off. Now, a long time ago, um, there was a thing called Cricut. And I think Cricut is still out. I'm not 100% sure. I think Cricut is still out. But Cricut had this tool, which I'm going to show you in a second. <clears throat> has this tool that you can... It's like paper, paper thin. It's like so small that you can use it to reposition your paper, kind of take off the excess. I'm going to show you the tool in a second. Take off the excess. Here's your base. And then attach it the right way because you goofed. All right. Like that. And here is the tool. This is a tool. And you just go underneath the paper. Super simple. Okay. So then we'll take this and then just put it down here in the corner. Let's see. Because I want to send it. So I've got to put it kind of towards the... There we go. All right. So that's that. There's one. And ta-da. And that's it. That's basically it. For a simple card, that's... That's what I do. It's really quick, easy, um, and I love doing them. Um, I I probably could <laughs> I could probably could do more. A lot of the ones I do are a little more uh, in depth, but then I'm doing those. You know, I'm just doing those for me. So, but anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you come back. I'm gonna do some more tutorials on uh, simple cards and even the more elaborate ones. I'll probably do those if you like. Um, but just let me know down in the comment section. Um, do a like, click like and subscribe. That would be really helpful. But again, um, that's my cards. Thanks for watching. Come back again. Bye-bye.